there. I'm Melissa Dallier with a Canine Affinity Dog Training. Thanks so much for joining me in week one of New Dog Basics, setting your dog up for success in training. This week, we're gonna be talking about marker training and marker mechanics. So what is a clicker or a marker word? When we talk about marker training, we're talking about a sound or a word that is going to communicate to our dog they have performed a behavior correctly or when they have done something that we really like. Through the power of association, they're going to learn that when they hear that sound or that click, that something good is coming. We're going to offer them reinforcement, a little treat, a toy, something that they really want so that they, that behavior happens more in the future. We need to be really precise with our dogs because the way that they communicate is not the same way that we communicate. We often use lots of words, we like to talk a lot, and our dogs are a different species. They don't communicate that way. So we need to make sure that we're bridging the gap and communicating with our dogs in a way that they can understand. We're going to teach our dogs through this workshop series a marker word, or you can use a clicker. If you don't know what a clicker is, I have one right here. It's just a little box that makes a sound like this. And we're gonna be teaching our dogs that when they hear that sound or another sound that you choose, that something really wonderful is going to follow. After we teach our dogs that something really wonderful is going to follow, it will be a lot easier to train them behaviors in the future. You still with me? Okay, so for this first exercise, all you're going to need is your dog, some treats, maybe a treat pouch if you have one. You can use their kibble, you can use some yummy soft treats, just make sure they're not too big. We're going to be using quite a few here in this first exercise and we don't want them to fill up. Next thing you need to do is decide whether you're going to use a clicker or a marker word. It really doesn't matter that much either way as long as you're consistent, okay? Some people prefer to use a marker word because you have your voice on you pretty much all the time. A clicker can sometimes be hard to uh, remember to bring with you all the time. If you do choose a marker word, make sure it is short and easy to remember. My favorite word is yes. And then sit down with your dog with a little handful of treats, okay? The next thing we're going to do is we're just gonna help our dogs associate that sound with receiving a reward. So in order to do this, we have to pair them together in the right order. First, we're gonna use the clicker and then I'll do a few yeses. You're going to click, reach into your bag, and give your dog a treat. It's important that you do it in that order so that your dog realizes that the sound of the click is what made the treat happen. If your hand is in your bag the whole time, your dog will only be paying attention to your hand in the yummy treat bag. And that is a really common mistake that people make. So click, reach in, give your dog a treat, okay? So it can be a second or two later. Just like that. And you're gonna repeat that maybe 10 or 15 times. It's gonna be the same thing if you chose the word yes. Yes. You wanna do it fairly rapidly so they start to create that good positive association. So you're going to repeat that fun exercise probably three or four times over the course of a few days until you start to see that your dog recognizes that sound as something good. We're looking for something called the yippee response. And what's going to happen is you're going to sit down with your dog, you're going to make that clicking sound, and your dog is gonna go whoop, and their head is gonna rip really fast towards you, even before you have a chance to get that treat out. And when that happens, your dog has started to make an association to that sound. This could happen the first time you do it, the second time you do it, or not until the fifth time you do it. Every dog is different. So, you could come back and watch the rest of this video after you've had a chance to do that, or maybe you've already done that with your dog and you're ready to know what the next steps are. Welcome back. Now that you've had a chance to condition your dogs to the marker word, something called charging the marker, we're gonna practice some basic mechanics. The reason that the marker exists is so that we can be very precise in letting our dogs know when they've done something right. Okay, it can be very easy to reinforce your dog's first slightly wrong behavior if you're not using your marker word correctly. An example of this would be 
simply teaching our dogs to sit. If you're not using a marker word or you're not using your marker correctly, what often happens is we may ask our dogs to sit, our dog's butt hits the ground, and then maybe we go to give them a treat and they stand up and take the treat. In that dog's mind, they may have just been rewarded for standing up. And so you might get very frustrated that every time you ask your dog to sit, they might sit for a second and then stand up, or they might just stand there and look at you. And that's because you're delivering your treat while they're standing up rather than while they're sitting. The marker word will allow you to tell them, yes, the moment that bum hits the ground and then deliver the treat and they will begin to understand that you want their bum hitting the ground. So we're gonna play a little game so that you can work on your marker mechanics. I have this little ball here. I want you to get out your clicker or have your marker word ready. And every time you see this ball come back into my hand, I want you to click or mark yes with me, okay? So it's gonna look something like this. Yes, yes, yes. All right, you ready? How do you think you did? If you were a little off, go back and practice again. You wanna make sure your timing is right before we start training our dogs. All right, everybody, great job so far teaching your dogs those marker words. I just wanna go through how it all looks uh, in real life with my dog, Roger, here. So, remember, first things first, make sure your hand is not in that treat bag before you need the treat. So if we are charging that marker word, it's going to look like this. Yes! Hand in, get the treat. Yes! See how he perks up when he hears that word? Same thing with the clicker. Hand goes in after I click. Do not leave your hand in the bag, otherwise he's just gonna be staring at it. Hand out of the bag. Good. Now, if I'm practicing my timing, I want to make sure that I'm clicking for the exact behavior that I want. So I'm going to be t marking him for his nose touching my hand. Touch. Good. That precise moment that nose touches my hand. All right, so your homework this week is to teach your dog that marker word. Make sure they have a great association to it and practice your timing. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much.